it's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Chella is here. It's your girl, Chella H. Hey. Hey, H. Mano is here. New Mano! Yeah, that was good. And some unfortunate Yee T. Kodak Black has been arrested for a cocaine possession. <gasps> and he's currently behind bars at the Broward County Sheriff's Office. So very unfortunate news. Um, mm-hmm. They said there's more charges as well. And this is all pending and... <laughs> We'll keep you guys updated, but really sad, really unfortunate. Just just a couple of months ago, he was trying to get his 2022 drug possession case thrown out. Um, They said that the drugs that he possessed at that time were completely legal and acquired over the counter. And authorities had charged him with one count of possession of a controlled substance and one count of trafficking oxycodone. But now another um, arrest. How much cocaine? It does not say yet. This is all, like, really, really new. So you don't know how much cocaine? No, but from what I'm seeing, because I can see the paperwork on here, um, it still says pending. We want to know how much cocaine. Why? Just want to know how much cocaine. You're just oh, curious? Always want to know how much cocaine. Yeah, yeah, it just says possession of cocaine, and then it says pending trial. And so it doesn't have a bond amount or anything mm-hmm. yet. Because it's like, is he sniffing it or selling it, right? That's what, That's what you want to know. Okay. I mean, not, I mean, it don't matter. Who are you working with? <laughs> <laughs> you. With you. Okay. With um, and wife and Lucci's Rico trial has gotten a start date, and that is going to be January eighth. All right. So that is expected to overlap with the whole um, YSL Rico trial that's going on, which began last month as mm-hmm. well. Um, now let's get into some good news. Nicki Minaj. All right, we are approaching Gag City. She's inviting fans to Gag City as she shares her new Pink Friday two teaser, and here is some of that. Like my hand is blue. All right, so that's going to be a big deal as people are waiting for that album tonight. You know, they, it was delayed from it's last month. It's dropping tonight. Yep, it's dropping tonight. So get ready for that. I know the barbs are excited. I see everybody going crazy on social media. She posted Approaching Gag City. It's a 26-second trailer. And she said, Barb Alert System, prepare for impact. Pink Friday 2 is coming. And yes, get ready. Yeah. Buckle up. And she's also going to be on Watch What Happens Live. Andy Cohen posted, tweet me all of your questions now. For Nicki Minaj, she will be joining me for an upcoming Watch What Happens Live. All right, now let's get into what happened with Joe Button's podcast. Melissa Ford is on there, as you know. And there was a back and forth with her and Cameron. Now, if you guys recall, Cameron and Mace had talked about a situation where they were at a brothel and then they took the woman back with them. They got a lot of backlash for this conversation. And here's what Melissa Ford had to say on the Joe Button podcast. Them clearly went to a house yeah. and took somebody up out of here. Says them. And, that's who told and, the story. And is there a distinct possibility that there may have been underage girls in that Oh, uh, hey, come, come on now. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know what you're doing. That's, that's crazy. disgusting what you're doing. Yeah. That's- all right. Well, since then, Cameron and Mason not like these insinuations that there were underage girls potentially there. So here's what Cameron had to say. Uh, we're back just to Melissa. Here to tell the truth. We're not. We're not into anything illegal. So you can stop trying to put that together. <laughs> Don't ever come for me and kill her. Nah, ever and in, your nice mo- about it. in your mother's life. <laughs> Yeah, this is not this, this is not what you yo, want. I, Cause I can't tell you how much I don't care. This this, this is screaming desperate and essential. All right, he also went and posted a picture of, of him and Melissa on a red carpet for um in Harlem and he was threatening to get her deported because she's from Canada. Really? Right. So Melissa has since went on the Joe Button podcast and apologized. Right. Here's what she said. I don't really want to say the phrase "walk it back." I'll just say I apologize. Yeah, I should, there I should, I, sh- I should never have made that insinuation. Hey, hey, there you right. go. They did offer grace. She's saying they could have went way harder than they did, and so she did apologize. And you know what else? Oh, that's good. I listen, and because I know Melissa, I know the point she was trying to make was, you know. When that story came out, there was a lot of backlash of them talking about this whole situation. And it is true. In a lot of places like that, there's, you know, all kinds of illegal things going on. So maybe that's not something you want to discuss. But not saying that they did anything. And I guess the insinuation was there was underage girls and nobody wants that put on them. Right. So she apologized if anybody thought that. 
All right, well, that is your Yee And you know, we got Ask Yee coming up with the award winning advice giver, Mano. That's right. And my girl, Chella H. I'm here. Who always has a, well, you ain't wrong type of opinion. 800 292 5150. And for all you rude boys, let's party. It's way up. Way up.